Well, more young voters are hitting the polls, and Michigan seems to be leading the way. We saw a very strong turnout for the 2020 presidential election. Here to talk more about this and what we could expect to see this election cycle is Michigan Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson. Good to see you, as usual. Good to be You're here. You're joining us guys. once a month to talk about what we need to know about when it comes to this election. This one's interesting. Young voters out there, uh, you had... I think 4 million uh, registered young voters that were Gen Zers and only 800 and some thousand voted during the last election. Not enough. And you're trying to get people to say, hey, this is important. Yeah, so we, we actually, it was 4 million people vote total, total in 2022. And Michigan led the nation in young people voting uh, with just 37% of eligible young people voting in that election. So we led the nation, but clearly if 60% of young people aged 18 to 29 who are eligible to vote aren't participating, there's a gap that we need to close. And so that's what my office has been focused on. Yeah. We released a report this week so that everyone can see um, how we can collectively as a state embrace young people of all backgrounds, political perspectives, and wherever they live, make sure people have a voice in the process. Well, I said 4 million, 4 yes. million voters total, right. but 800 and some thousand. Yeah. But there are others out there that means that aren't voting, and we want to figure out That's how right. to get them involved. Well, exactly. here's the question. I mean, is it issue-based, though? I mean, we've mm. seen, of course, with Biden, with the loan forgiveness, that might drive people to say, hey, thank you, I want to see what else they'll give me. Or perhaps abortion, we saw with the last election, that drove a lot of young people to the poll, that issue. Is it going to really depend on what people People are debating. You know what our research showed, and what other 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 entities validated is that a lot of it's just time to vote, finding time to vote, oh. and also feeling like you know what to you want to you know you have a choice, you have a input that you want to make, having confidence in your voice as well. Mm. A lot of people are saying, "I'm not going to vote because I can't get a shift off of work." Others are saying, "I'm not going to vote because I don't know if I I know enough to cast my ballot." And or so apathy. Both of those things. Yeah. Well, interesting thing on apathy, what we found, and we had a youth vote round table on Monday in Detroit where we asked this very question is it that you don't want to vote or you don't like a candidate or what is it and uh, the young folks said um, uh, the young folks the young folks they, are very old they, over they, here they participated the participants <laughs> said across the board we care we are engaged we want to see clean air and clean water in our state we want our schools to be safe but we're not connected to our institutions I'm not sure we care about our institutions and see them as a vehicle for change mm. and so the gap is really not a, an apathy gap it's a, it's there's enthusiasm across the board it's making sure we can connect that enthusiasm to voting as a means towards affecting the change you want to see. I know you're the Secretary of State. You can't go to a private employer and say, look, you need to give people the right to vote. But in a sense, it's our civic duty to do so. What do you tell someone out there who is an employer about maybe making this a little bit easier for people? Is This is the time to do that, right? Yeah, and interestingly, just a few weeks ago, we launched a coalition with the Detroit Chamber and many other employers like DTE Energy and the Detroit Pistons uh, that said we as employers do want to be a part of helping people yeah. engage, encouraging employees to serve as election workers, giving employees time off to vote, uh, paid time off to take some time away and cast their ballot and then come back to the shift, uh, and just passing around uh, legitimate, nonpartisan, trusted information about voting, spreading that information not just to your employees but to your customers. That's a great way that business leaders can participate in helping make democracy stronger for everyone. Because voting doesn't take very long. I mean, if you do it, you can go there. You know, there's rarely huge, huge lines. I mean, of course, certainly some places, but I really think it's, you know, when you t hear people, they have to actually because they're not watching the news as much. They don't know the issues. They're seeing things on TikTok. Are you going to try to appeal mm. to younger voters through social media? Yeah, and, and you know, certainly all, all hands on deck and all tools are on the table for reaching all citizens with trusted information. Mm -hmm. What we see also is a bit of an imbalance is that a lot of these young folks who aren't voting are not in college or having a college experience, but yet most of the attention and focus on youth vote turnout is through colleges. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of folks are working or in apprenticeship programs and so we want to reach those citizens mm -hmm. as well with trusted information about elections through voices they trust. Social media is a one vehicle, but not always the most trustworthy. Mm -hmm. And so we are empowering faith leaders, business leaders, community leaders, educational leaders with the tools they need to reach young people with the information they and, need to participate. And it's interesting to see churches, mosques, and temples across mm -hmm. the board, even I know the Hindu temple, doing stuff to say, hey, young people, your voice matters. You have to be here. Mm -hmm. And this is what you need to do. But research is important too. What do you suggest people do about that? Well, Michigan.gov slash vote is your resource for everything you need to know about early voting or voting from home or voting in person on election day. And yes, we are connected.
connecting with faith leaders and others to make sure they can help spread that information too. But our website and election officials like your local clerk can provide a great resource for information about the elections. Because not just young votes, all votes matter. And exactly. we want to drive as many people to the polls as possible. Yep. Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson, thank you for being here Thanks today. Thanks for having me.